Hi, this is your teacher, Barbara Rademacher, and we are going to complete the square. Now what this means is we're going to solve a quadratic function using uh, completing the square. And what completing the square does is it turns a, a quadratic trinomial into a perfect square trinomial by a method that really is the basis for the quadratic formula. So, let me finish writing all that. That is, make a quadratic equation into a perfect square trinomial. You'll see what that is if you don't remember. Oh yeah, the reason, the reason we're going to do that is so that we can solve the quadratic equation by using the easiest, easiest method, which is not the quadratic formula. It's um, the method of, of uh, the square root method. I love writing on this tablet. But it does take a while, doesn't it? Okay. Here's the quadratic equation we're going to solve. And this is the method of completing the square. First, move the constant over to the other side of the equal sign. In this case, we'll subtract 29 from both sides of the equation. That will leave us with x squared minus 10x on the left and negative 29 on the right. Now we're going to complete the square, and this is how you do it. Put parentheses at the end, square the parentheses. We will square the parentheses. Take the b number, divide it by 2, and square. To add this number right there to both sides of the equation. All right, now we're going to work out what that is, although you'll see later that on the left side, we really don't have to. All right, so what is negative 5 squared? It's negative 5 times negative 5, which is 25. So what we have gone through, what we've done, is we've added 25 to both sides of the equation, which you can do. You can do anything you want as long as you do it to both sides of the equation. Now the left side of the equation is what we call a perfect square trinomial. And this is what a perfect square trinomial is. It can be written that way. Now take the square root of both sides. Put a plus or minus in front of the right-hand side. So that now x minus 5 equals plus or minus 2i. Now we're going to add 5 to both sides of the equation, and our answer is going to be 5 plus or minus 2i. And we can write these separately. x equals... 5 minus 2i and x equals 5 plus 2i.
Now we're going to solve another one. Another quadratic equation by completing the square, but this one is significantly more complicated. But just like before, we're going to add the constant to both sides of the equation. Now, you have to divide by the number in front of x squared when that number is not 1. That will leave us with x squared minus 3 over 2x. Now, write your parentheses up. OK. Now we're going to write parentheses at the end of the left side, and what this is going to be is the b number, negative 3 over 2, multiplied by 1 half, which is the same as dividing by 2. And we square it. We're going to square the result. And add this number to both sides of the equation. Why? Because that's the method of completing the square. Negative 3 over 2 times 1 half is negative 3 fourths. And of course we square it. But one of the really neat secrets of the universe is that we don't have to square it on the left-hand side because our binomial is going to be the x and that number right there in parentheses, x minus 3 fourths squared. Over here, however, we're going to have to work it out. But never fear. Remember, we have a calculator that will add the fractions for us. We're going to math frac that baby right there. So get out your TI calculator. Okay, now we're going to take the square root of both sides and put a plus or minus in front of the right-hand side. And this is what we'll get. We'll get x minus 3 fourths equals plus or minus the square root of 145 over the square root of 16, which is 4. And so x is going to equal 3 fourths. We add 3 fourths to both sides, plus or minus the square root of 145 over 4. Now this is how you write the answers, because the two fractions have the same denominator, <clears throat> we can combine them. Okay, that's it. Don't worry, we're going to be talking about it in class also.